You spew your heathen trash. Yes, your mouth is your asshole. Yeah, whatever. Just stop being a dick. Give me some water. Okay, another day goes by. That's 24d6 non lethal. Sit around. Uh, Sid would be training. Ooh, 76 non lethal? Damn! How you feeling there, chump? Magnus has a lot of hit points. <laughs> Just saying. Yep. Are you unconscious? So no. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, 54, yeah. So when do I lose unconsciousness? When do I get unconsciousness? When your total damage plus temporary damage equals your total normal hit points. Okay, so I got my my hit points are and this is a couple days later so technically your wounds are healing although it's arguable that you know you're healing while healing your body's half? also no Maybe. we'll we'll say that you're healing that those are the rules so how many days uh we are 3 days into this mess so another 22 hit points so 22 and that in, that heals my lethal and no, my non lethal nope my not lethal. not your lot non lethal that's right sorry uh, you both spoke at the same time i didn't hear it heals only non lethal no, it heals only the lethal. Only the lethal, okay. You need to drink to make that non-lethal You should away. have a total of 92 non-lethal damage right now. 22 and 92 non-lethal. I'm still up. Oh, yeah, I'm still up. <sighs> Magnus has gone an inhuman amount of time without taking a drink of, of water. So we've got maybe another day left? It's, but... it's every hour it's D6 non-lethal. It becomes lethal if if it if it goes higher. Uh, It'll start doing lethal once you go unconscious. Magnus, he said, "Did what did Ashoka tell him exactly?" We're For... we're keeping an eye on you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, don't do anything rash. Like. I need water. Fucking asshole. <laughs> good, good role play. Fuck you. you a joker <laughs> he has a very very clean like um, um bucket that is brought in he conjures water from the uh into the bucket there is a ladle for drinking i'm feeling a little parched yeah hey who's this god <laughs> it is the god of the conqueror Conquer this. <laughs> Magnus is like so lying sideways. Okay. Um, give me a will save. Yeah, Magnus is like, sorry, Sonia, I was trying to come with you. But fuck this guy. Uh, uh, will save. Yep. Let's just let's just roll that. Twelve. Uh, so, plus... message on this check-in was Sid will be bringing you water once we find him. We're gonna make make us mad at Sid over this. So. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. You you still keep your like wits about you, although you can feel like your will being challenged. Okay. How much damage do I take this day? Let's go half day because Magnus is. A... <laughs> okay. We'll just do the morning. That morning is rough. 26 non-lethal. The sun was right in my eye all fucking No, you're, morning. you're deep underground. You can, you can hear the distant sound of the crashing wa uh, rocks and ocean, which is just making this, like, thirst even worse. Uh, you do notice that, um... There are benefits as, um... um after Vostok had been yelling... Uh, at you, you notice Dimitri kind of come to the edge of his uh, the edge of his um, cell. They warned me not to aid you. There are benefits to turning to the worship of the Five Face God. Then I would do it by choice, not like this. 
Come on, <clears throat> I'll be back. I'll do it by choice. <laughs> Not like this. Fuck him. Apparently he hasn't met many Kotsukans. <laughs> Oh, shit, I can't stay. They will likely eventually give you water, but then this will start again. Uh, I'm young. Dimitri's like. He puts the earplugs back in. Uh, Later, Dimitri. <laughs> What's that? Zelena Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> he buries his head in the pillows of his bed. He doesn't like listening to somebody. Uh... Why are you not helping me, Dimitri? <laughs> I cannot. You forsake, I... forsake me, my friend. Ah. <laughs> this is a... Have me in a bit of a pickle here. That's all right. I'm in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna talk because I need my. <sighs> there. Are... Let's just say that. Hmm. They are not happy with my performance as commissioner. Uh, no, you could go to our looters for protection. I... If I was out of here, I'd be able to protect you. <clears throat> Did I get poked, by the way? What do you mean? When I went in, Dimitri said they're gonna poke you. Nope, they haven't come and poked you yet. Like, well, uh, uh, Magnus performed really shit like last time. It's like probably is a doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only well, explanation. Yeah, it was a doppelganger. <laughs> it's acting like Magnus. They did a good job. Okay. Uh, the like half the amount of potions. Holy crap! These rolls. <laughs> Modron just hates Magnus. It's like die oh. if there's twenty four <laughs> non lethal. Twenty. Or... That's sleepy time for Magnus, I think. No. Well then, well, that's fine. It's good. What all you got? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is, are you gonna rage into the darkness? <laughs> <laughs> so it's the addition, right? It's a hundred. So I'm at a hundred and sixty-four, <laughs> and Magnus has a respectable. Remember the economy has been seeing. A hundred and. Fuck. Mine is 11. 164. Magnus is 164. Sleepy, Magnus, sleepy Magnus, Magnus just went to... <sighs> Magnus went unconscious. Okay. Uh, about Around the fourth day when Ashoka sent the sending, there's no response. Hmm. I suppose I need to go talk to Sid then. Okay, Magnus is in his own sort of um, hell. Now they can do all all the stuff, and we don't get to know about it. When we get Magnus back, he could be a doppelganger. Disabled for an hour first. No, I, I non-lethal equals your current hit points. So you uh, you fall unconscious. But uh, oh wait, did I heal more that day? You did. So I'm oh. still awake <laughs> for another couple hours. Eleven, <laughs> and then you go out. <laughs> yeah, like two hours. Two yeah. Hours. Uh, Magnus, you're beginning to see things. Like there are all sorts of visions. Um, is Magnus during this time keeping his faith in Cord? Yeah. Like his his faith is stronger than this. Yeah. Uh, the fact that Cord allowed Sonya to come down and fight this box thing and try to bring him back and he looks at his tattoo like the his scar or his uh his, his mark yep that is has the new name for him he's like yeah i don't worry i'll get you full name yeah oh fuck <laughs> um magnus is also someone who's had minor visions before uh you don't know if it's hallucinating but you seem to be in the the cold northern wastes for something for some reason as your desire for, for, oh, it's something that you had when you were a kid, just snow melted cones. 
oh, it's the cold, the cold snow and ice turning to water on your tongue. <laughs> it's like a, pee, a dog peeing in my mouth. <laughs> The, <laughs> ah. <laughs> the slight drizzle of a of a tree sap that is sweet upon it an icy treat for a northern child you're you're dreaming of early childhood long before the imperium came but then the snow storm kicks up some more magnus you're in you see your fiery sword lighting the way through a snowstorm. And you're going somewhere. I'm looking for, uh, like, signs of anything I would recognize. Like, these trees grow north of where I used to live, or this... You know that... Mountain. No, no, no. Snowy terrain, like, there is no vegetation only snow and ice as far as you can see and you will know that you are being sent to the pillar of the world okay well, in case i survive i'm gonna write this down Magnus is like, Are you ready to hear the words? Are you ready to hear the words? Magnus! Uh, isn't he unconscious? Magnus is unconscious. Oh, right yeah, now? you're kind of in and out of consciousness. You're, you're floating back in. Can't escape him that easy. Magnus, Magnus, with all his might, all his energy, it's just like... <laughs> Does that mean that you give in and call to the conqueror? <laughs> blasphemous! Blasphemous! <laughs> A small smile. <laughs> Chapters. Small victories. <laughs> Magnus gets out of there. He's got no middle fingers left. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do not know what I am doing for you. This personal sacrifice for your immortal soul. You should be thanking me. Come closer. I'll thank you. <laughs> he comes up to the bars. Let me hear the thanks for what the five is God will provide you. Your, your shell of a body and your immortal soul. No, I was kidding. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. <laughs> Perhaps after I sing to you the words of the name of our God. She's just going again. It's like, oh god, he's he's just she just sort of drift away into that snowy place, the snow cone that you had, the remembering of your mother, with her long long hair blowing in the wind, as she taught you how to make the snow cones with the with the the sap. <laughs> Mama. Well, and then Ashoka, Ashoka, that, that morning, this is like near the end of that first week, mm -hmm. uh, no response comes from Magnus. You, you did get the sense that he was being, that basically they were denying him water. Sending to Sid. Yeah, Sid's at the tower uh, guarding or hiding uh, it with Phineas. Yep, well, we're just going to send a sending that Magnus hasn't, uh, Magnus hasn't responded in uh, over a day. Please check up on him. Might want to bring water. Don't get caught. Yeah, don't tell me what to do, asshole. 
Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Sid in his infiltration, uh give me a um a stealth three stealth checks. One to get into the church, one to get into his cell, and then one to I'm assuming feed Magnus water. Yeah. That third one's difficult in bat form. I wanna know how you're doing that. Sure. Um Give me a sec. I'm trying to find something. Is that a hit die roll, Mark? Hmm? No. no. Oh, fuck. That was Sid. Did you roll in for funsies? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just roll to see what happens. See, I, okay. I thought we were just joining the uh, the shitty hit point train. Zed. <laughs> the trains of hit points on that guy. Uh, so, um, Sid is going to be doing his uh, mutagen, cat's grace, and invisibility. I don't think Nibbles really does have great hit points about it. Um, so, 50, I'm doing plus 53s, and when he switches back into Sid to feed Magnus, or give him drink, um, it would be plus uh, 38. Wait, hold on, 38. Okay, so I need a Plus, stealth check. Oh, actually, 42. <clears throat> so, 50, how many? Yeah. So, 53 and then 42. So, you're going in there, sneaking in as a bat, and then turning into Sid inside the I mean, cell? I mean, yeah, he's invisible, though, so. Okay. Well, you have to turn into Sid 60, to turn invisible. Six, no, I drink before I get in there. My invisibility lasts for Does it. Take only nine minutes to get to the. It, it, it takes a while. Takes a while. Okay, I'll I'll switch outside, drink, and then go in. Okay. So, uh, sixty-four, sixty-six. Those aren't the important ones. Okay, it takes thirty-three minutes for you to do this infiltration. After thirty-three minutes, you're at you're at the cell, and you can see that there's this bald man who's just ranting and raving and reading yeah. reading <laughs> scripture and. There's a crazy man. <laughs> okay, so uh, in an area where there isn't anybody, like there's like a dark hallway or like the area where there's nobody. There are shadows in the room, yep. Or just in the hallway or whatever. Sid will turn into Sid. Go and drink his invisibility potion. All right. Uh, you can see into the room where Magnus is. This guy is ranting and raving, and there's a closed and locked door. You know, there's a guard sitting outside on a bench. He's probably tired of hearing Vostok's... Uh... This is... But what's it, Dimitri's place, right? Yeah. Sid knows. Yeah, Sid just... Knows. Yeah, but you can hear the guy ranting and raving. There's a yeah. there's a hallway that leads to a door, and inside there's a chamber where uh, Sid and... Uh, where uh, Sorry, where Dimitri and Magnus are. And there's a guy inside going... Ranting and raving. Ranting. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, and and just outside the door, there's a guard that that is kind of rubbing his temples and, and sitting on a bench, <laughs> like he's really tired of hearing hearing this stuff. He's taking so a break. Sid, Sid goes invisible and fly stealth is to uh, next to Magnus. Okay, so you've got a guard ten feet from the door that you need to open. Oh, I have to go through a door. Yep. How big are you? Uh, tiny. Okay, so you could you could squeeze under the door. Squeeze under the door. Um. Question is, did I prepare a freedom of movement? I don't think freedom of movement helps you squeeze; it just keeps you from getting stuck. Hey, Wolfren, you guys have a fighter, a uh, firefighter as a PC? Who? Who's the firefighter? The yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Um, so what would I use to to? Oh, is Buscemi. It... Is that uh, really... reflex sha mm -hmm. uh, shave? Mm -hmm. Reflex shave. A reflex save or a uh, escape, escape artist. Escape artist. All right, mutagen. Uh, okay, so ten plus so twelve plus. Um, so 14. Okay. Let's try that. 
Uh, 23. Okay, you're able to sneak by the guard and get into the room where the ranting man is reading scripture to Magnus. Magnus is like like on, on his knees kind of before this hole. He'd, he'd reach down several times to try to like grab into the sewage because he's pretty sure there might have been water down there. Um, Magnus is like unconscious. Okay. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Sid's going to wait for the guy. He's just going to take the corner and just, like, sit in a dark... Like, Sid's going to stay as a bat form and, and wait in a dark corner and just wait for the guy. Okay, so an hour goes... thinking, this guy's not going to be doing this all day. An hour goes by, <laughs> and Magnus uh, uh, takes another two damage. This, would be uh, okay. this, this becomes lethal. So hit points. No! Two damage. Your body cannot hear me, but your soul can. Um, 64. Okay. It is time for your branding. Okay. Oh, if, we, if we sharpen up Magnus just in time to respond to the branding. <laughs> uh, this man strides out, kind of almost steps on little bat that's kind of like <laughs> trying to get out. And he opens the door. We must summon the priests! I must put a mark upon this heathen! He stepped outside? Yep. He closes the door. (laughs) The guard guard locks the door, alright? So you appear in his cell, basically. Um, um, Oh, look, stealth, stealthing mass. Okay, so you're stealth next to Magnus, and you're Uh, administering Magnus. (laughs) Yeah, you could do that. So you feed, him a, you feed him a heal potion. Is it a cure serious? Or what's his biggest one here? Um, yeah, cure serious. Because... Fuck yeah. <laughs> so 3d8 plus 10. Uh, 22. Works wonders for Magnus. But I also want to give him some water, but you don't need to. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. So 22 healing and uh, non-lethal yeah, are healed. So one... Magnus could put sputters awake. 22 is 29. Yeah, that's twenty-nine non-lethal. And you'll start giving him just pouring water. Shh! Sid! Fucking talk. He's starting to pour like a little bit of water into his mouth. Like, Yep, give me a heal check. Yeah, you, you pour it on her lips first, otherwise they would die right away. Heal check. Uh-oh. Sid might not know how to do this. <laughs> Ten. Hey, you, you, base kill. you just start feeding him water. Uh, Magda's like, <laughs> coughing and that sort of thing. Yeah, Sid's clean. Oh, are you feeling better? Are you feeling better, Magnus? You hear, you hear the, uh, the commissioner. <laughs> uh, Sid's going to uh, give him a little bit more water and uh, hide again. Okay, so you're trying to hide in this. You're trying to hide in Magnus's cell. Uh, uh, actually, no. Let's get the fuck out of Magnus's cell and go. Uh, ooh, let's stealth into Dimitri's cell. Okay. That door is still closed, right? Yep. Stealth into Dimitri's cell. There's lots of things to hide behind. There's a bed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to roll this? Yeah. Uh, th- th- uh, six, th- 61. <laughs> it's 51. My bonus. All right. So you're hiding in Dimitri's cell. You actually ha- hide at the table where he has eaten his meals. And upon closer inspection, it does look like uh, Dimitri eats meat. But he's left the vegetables to basically, uh, like, he doesn't touch them. Okay. Uh, um, ooh. I could pick one up and hide it in my wing. <laughs> Magnus could probably use this. And Dimitri's right now lying in his bed, and he's got the covers all the way over top of him. I don't hear anyone coming down the, uh... No? Okay, do you have, like, a tomato or something? 
Yeah, there's a couple of tomatoes. It doesn't look like he touches his uh, his food at all. Okay, like, I'll it, take like a small tomato and. This might get him. This might get him kicked out. But oh, you're gonna start feeding Magnus so he doesn't start having to do starvation rules as well. <laughs> okay, so you you run back and forth. Um, try to swallow him. Try to swallow. Oh, is there somebody there? You hear a voice. Stop it, said, get the fuck. It comes. Said, get the fuck out. <laughs> Hmm. Sid's gonna fly out, son. Oh, is, are the rats here? And you notice that uh, Dimitri gets out of his bed. Give me a perception check, Sid. Okay, um, 18. I'm pretty sure I perceive. My perception is 30. Okay, you notice something weird about the skin between his shoe and his uh, and his pant leg it was gray for a moment and then it turned not gray well that was confirmed <laughs> are there any rats in here and you notice he's looking around I would very much like to taste a rat again Magnus doesn't need to know this right now. <laughs> Magnus is like <laughs> coughing awake. Uh, he will whisper to Magnus. You know, you notice a little bit of like, like a little bit of a, a skin from one of the tomatoes, kind of dribbling down his uh, down yeah, his. Mag <laughs> Sid's gonna like as yeah. a bat. Uh, he'll lick up the tomatoes from his mouth, so it doesn't mm -hmm. look like he's eaten. Um, is he at the? Can he look at Magnus? What's his name? Uh, Dimitri. Yeah, Dimitri is looking around for a rat. He thinks there's a rat in his cage or in his cage somewhere. Hmm. You can Dimitri can't reach Magnus though. No, no, there's separation. There's there's at least twenty feet between the two cages. Is there somebody there? When he goes away. He's now looking at the bars. Magnus, I see you're awake. An amazing constitution you have. Wait, you know Magnus is like... <laughs> Thumbs up like... Uh... Yes, it is the... Um, it's the finger of the architect. Yeah, turns his hand sideways. <laughs> Hells no, we have to hear that sermon again. You should just give in. Make it much easier that way for the both of us. No, Magnus doesn't respond to that. He's like, Magnus, like, you don't know me. Nobody knows me. Is there somebody else there? Oh, uh, Sid's, Sid's gonna get the fuck out of there. Okay. <laughs> oh, could have swore I had more vegetables. <laughs> Hello? Escape, uh... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I escape out of that like, uh... Like I was lubed up beforehand, just... <laughs> Magnus? Magnus, you are with us. Uh, oh, what level of consciousness is Magnus at? Because drinking water is great, but it's not going to get you there. The 22 healing of lethal and non-lethal, that yeah. gets you there. Yep. But the, the, and, and, you're, and you're no longer, you're no longer dying of thirst. You would have to go back into the sweat lodge if you want to get the visions again. What? Could you, um... What? Could you do me a favor? What? You're quite the legendary gladiator, and, um... You know, in the olden days, they used to, um... Take scrapers and put oil on your body and scrape off the essence of the gladiators to make a perfume. Or perhaps a braid of your hair. 
Such things might be very valuable and might help me um, recover some of my lost um, wealth. Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> Thanks for giving me water, asshole. I'll trade you for this um, uneaten carrot? Uh, question, does Sid hear this? No, Sid's gone by this point. Okay. I've got a carrot. Fuck <laughs> you. They weren't going to let you die unless your heart gave out or something like that. Go back to your cell, Dimitri. We'll trade you for a lock of your hair. It'll make a nice token for, um... For a woman that I'm seeing. Sense motive. Okay. Oh yeah, Magnus balls. Your Magnus. Yeah, I forgot. Sounds <laughs> reasonable. Yeah, they'd they'd want a piece of Magnus. Yeah. Fifteen. <laughs> no, no, you don't crack his. Magnus didn't Magnus see nothing about to... Greenfoot, and Sid Magnus... specifically said Magnus doesn't need to know. Yep. So he's like, ah, oh. Magnus wondering which woman is coming down here to see you. We and we must we must act quick before that vile man returns. Bit of your hair for carrot. He knows that Sid's coming back. Well, he fucking hopes. You're a 250-pound man who's had a tomato. A, a cherry days. tomato. <laughs> Have you seen me after I've missed food for like six hours? A cherry tomato and half a wine skin of water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Thanks, doesn't. No, office he's like, here. He's like... He's like, I asked you for help. Oh. He didn't give me help. Vegetables. <laughs> he spits it out. These are for peasants. Real men eat meat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sid returns. Um, After flying through the defenses, although Sid does notice that there are other priests headed down. Yeah, well, good, luck. good luck with that shit. I helped you as much as I can. And <laughs> you notice that um, there's a conversation between uh, Vostok and somebody by the name of Caleb Goodman. Okay. Sounds like a good guy, that Caleb. There's Caleb Goodman's uh, token. <laughs> this thing. That's monstrous. <laughs> Sir, there seems to be something wrong with your complexion. <laughs> your shit is all sorts of fucked up. <laughs> also, you might want to get your eyes checked. <laughs> ah, yes, Inquisitor Caleb. Is the prisoner ready yet? Which one? The barbarian. No, he is he is very thirsty. His soul thirsts for the for the saving of the five faced god he, he's he Then he is not ready yet. Do your job. I yes, it takes time, he is very resilient. But yes, I will I will do as you command. Do not summon me before he is ready. Yes, of course. Of course. The Corsican barbarian will bend knee. Uh, Sid does not want to come close to this guy. <laughs> this them be weird eyes. <laughs> Alright, Sid makes it all the way back after twice now penetrating the defenses of the Towers of Faith. Uh, hey. And returns back to the Ludus. We'll see Ashoka. if we have to send him for the hat trick. <laughs> hey, Ashoka, you need to see, you need to tell Magnus something. What would I need the, to tell Magnus? The Dimitri that's in the cell next to him. He's the doppelganger. Oh. 
He's the one that's been got. He's got gray skin or something. That is interesting. Wouldn't want him to have a bite out of Magnus, now would we? No, we wouldn't. A choke lies like he doesn't have a fucking this way or that way on whether or not we want extra Magnus. An extra Magnus sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Yeah, I want a doppelganger that can be Magnus. <laughs> Imagine how much money we'd make on having Magnus fight some chode and betting stupidly on Magnus and then or stupidly on the chode and then having the chode beat like murder Magnus in the ring. Like <laughs> And then Magnus shows up a week later. <laughs> oh, we have to do something with Magnus. We send him off to go raid some oh, north. northern thing. Wait, the commissioner is not the doppelganger, or is he the doppelganger? No, but it, see, this don't is, know. This is interesting because All my I know spell is... doesn't go by location; it goes by creature I wanted to speak with. And I have, I know both. Interesting. So, when did you meet the other one? No, I. Well, I obviously he spent some time. At his desk, or the real Dimitri is in a similar situation. Um, makes me think that I most definitely spoke with the doppelganger, because the spell worked. Perhaps the second one is also a doppelganger. They were also telling him about. Not sure if I told you, but needles testing doppelgangers with needles. Not sure what that is. Uh, actually, uh, Zid is a fucking alchemist. Can yeah, you, you chose what creature. You don't get to unerringly, like, choose the right one. Yeah. You're, you're like, the one before, the one that... <laughs> and I, like, yeah. I don't know which one I got. And because his response was valid for either of them. Like, in secret, in secret, if he knew there's doppelgangers, he could have been warning me about the needles. Right? So I don't know that, which one that message came from. I asked, because like, I didn't say, you're in prison. I asked... Do you need a hand? Right? In Ashoka's condescending, like, let me help you kind of way. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I suppose I should speak with the commissioner. Ashoka's going to do his next conversation with the commissioner face to face. To okay. get this shit sorted. Do you tell Magnus? Do I tell Magnus? I don't know the name. The, the next week. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I think Sid's gonna have to go back to him at some point. Yeah, he's gonna have to go back to him. Yeah, eventually Magnus is gonna be like, oh, Wait! I'm starving. How are you awake? You were saying it, Corsican! And then he yeah, begins. Ma Magnus he begin is he, now, They continue Magnus and he, is, he's uh, all saving his energy. <laughs> like, he's, he's not even, he's not even like, getting up. He's like, just sleeping for, for the time he's there. Week two. Let's do the circus first. Radimer is, <laughs> is training. Damien, what are you doing in this week? Um, he's going to... Uh, well, he'll check on Magnus, I guess. Because you're going to go visit oh, no, the church? No, no, no. He's going uh, to no, um, set up a meeting with, the, uh, with Duncan and hopefully the Count. Okay, Duncan Count... Church. So basically, you're you're going around actually doing RP. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and based on what happened before, I think um, I'll spend the money. I think Mr. Measley's earned himself some training. Oh, look at that. Measley gets trained. All he earned you, it. He earned it. All you do is spend the next four months murdering my father. That's right. All you gotta <laughs> do is murder my father. Here you go. Some proper training about alchemy and poisons. Learn how to poison. <laughs> Oh. So if you ever poison me, I will fucking rip your heart out. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know where your wife is. <laughs> Guess what happens to your wife if I die? <laughs> Guess what my insurance policy is. Okay, um, that does cost money. <laughs> yep. Uh, what level is he? He's going to 8th level. So. Okay, so 1400 for quick training or 700 uh, he, for slow. Seven, it's 700. He's not okay. spending it. All right. 
I mean, he's training him, but let's let's not get crazy. Ugg, what's he doing? I think he Ugg is just following, is waiting like on Arlen's command. So I think he's just uh, gonna be idle. Sorry, I'm just getting to the sheet right now. Ugg and all the gladiators are pretty like they're fatigued from their fight, so uh, they could remember, use medical training or medical didn't, attention. Uh, didn't we say Arlen can spend time to? Um, yeah, we've got this in this week. RP, RP and meds. Okay. So Arlen is basically going to spend like a whole days healing them up and tending to their wounds and uh, yeah. that will that will help. Okay. Powerful caster beats um, low level un, uncastery uh, medics. Yeah. Okay. Um, so they're just idle basically for this week. Unless you have them doing something. Um... This is... Ugg is idle. So, so they should go shopping if they need something. Go look for... They should go They should go look for items that they want. I think he has his uh, new... Um, he has Impaler now? Yeah, so we'll, we'll say that he was shopping for Impaler. Okay, and the other okay. guys can go look for stuff if they want. Uh, I think Gr Grizak was going to get, like, gloves of uh, Deflect Arrow or something. Because he doesn't have anything like that. Because most of my druids have been hit by crit arrows that drop okay. out of the air. How many thousands gold pieces is that? Chopper? No. Or uh, the, uh, the I, gloves. I didn't, I, I didn't check. There's just an idea that was popping through my head. Uh, gloves of arrows. Um, Does the metal hand give me back my ring slot or no? To Four thousand. I guess so. Sure. Why not? All right. It, it's one deflection. It's whether or not the ring of protection gets worn because I'm wearing the monkey rings. Because um, <laughs> these these yep. magic items don't function when he shape shifts or he when he uh. Yes, they do. Wild shapes. They do. Yep. It just okay. armor doesn't without that it's... armor property. I suggest I I suggest we get these for most of our gladiators. They're four thousand. They don't have anything like it, unless they're fucking monks. Okay, so you're buying Sam a, a Gloves of Arrow Snaring? Uh, I'm getting one for Grizak. Let me put this on our list. So, who wants them? Duh, everybody likes magic. I don't think Knocking... anyone... And I don't think anyone's saying no. <laughs> yeah, U Ugg doesn't have a uh, Ugg doesn't have any a so hand slot item. One. Sure. So gloves. I I got it. The, 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 there's a there's some there's ones that help you with grapple. Okay, with so I'm, I'm getting the gloves of arrow for Ugg. Okay. So Ugg, um, Grizak. Does Nibbles want one? Uh, yeah, Nibbles will take one. I'm just gonna say no. Okay. Um, I'm gonna check if Arlen. I think Arlen has gloves already. Hands. No. Okay. Uh, there's too much gold being spent, so you have to spend your time uh, searching for gloves. Uh, so Nibbles is shopping. Uh, Get them to shop Ugg is shopping. Gloves. Sam is shopping. Does does Ugg have a armbands of the brawler yet? Um, yeah, what does that do? Ugg bra Ugg's Ugg braces are bracers of opportunity plus one AOO per round, and secondary arm or, brands of the brawler are already on it. So he's or he can get or he can get brawling installed on his uh, on his armor too. That would be probably useful. Okay, okay so he's I've got, got yeah. I've got five people with five people with gloves of arrow. Gr Grizak, Ugg, Nibbles, Sam, Arlen. Okay. Anybody else? Gloves of arrow snaring. Um. Uh, yeah, gloves of arrow, arrow snaring. No. Okay, that's done. Four K, so it's twenty talents. Edward, spend the time crafting some wands. He could craft five grand worth of wands. So I'm just gonna okay. add uh, five days of wand crafting. Okay, he I'll, he'll spend that. He can take it out of the, the Ludus. No, he's got thirty-seven thousand gold pieces from his bet. He's good. Fuck him, man. 
That's good. Sam's gonna try to find a five thousand gold piece diamond. Uh, so you're not shopping for your. I, I guess you could use your facilities to shop for Sam's gloves, so that you could find a five thousand gold piece diamond. You can. Or buy. I could. I could buy the diamond lighter. That's fine. Okay. That works. Yeah. Uh, Ed- I eventually. Edward is so I don't get duped. Wand. Yeah, exactly. Here's this shiny piece of glass. Here's a cubic zirconium. <laughs> it's better than a diamond. Cause it's cubic. Mmm. <laughs> Beric Tarn is doing his last of his fast training. He's got both of his levels. Basically, he goes into uh, like a like a deep sleep and sh- and molts his his scales and then comes out with his wings um, uh, his wings um, um, fully formed. Looking like a badass. Widget is traveling. Unwind is enjoying his new life. Uh, is there anything in particular that Godiva is doing? Uh, Godiva. Uh... No, she's probably training Unwin. No, it's done. It took oh, you. it's done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, nothing in particular. She's unless someone's going to encourage her to train, because otherwise she she thinks she's just marvelous and doesn't need anything. <laughs> Did she level? Uh, I don't Arlen. think she leveled. No, but she can she can train her stats or. Oh. Arlen will get her. Arlen will get her to train her stats. He wants her. He wants her to be. Um... He's hit charisma all the way. Uh, he actually wants her to be his bodyguard, like not a gladiator, but a bodyguard for him. Because nobody will expect her to be one. Okay. He's the pantsy pants. So he wants to oh, make sure that nice she's there for oh, all fuck. the social situations. All right. Uh, you need, if you're going to train an ability score, Mark. Okay. Um, They've got seven points. What ability score is she training in? Uh, hang on a sec. We'd have to teleport her to our... Uh... Our camp. That's fine. And will she take Unwin, I guess? Or is he done training? No, he's, he's done. Okay, so we'll teleport her. Grizak will teleport okay. her to the... Uh... Her charisma is not maxed out yet. No. So, I would charisma? do that. That's a good place to start. Yeah. Okay, zero out of eight. Uh, give me seven rolls as you're receiving training from the Ludus. So, seven D6. Pink, pink. One, uh, two, two three. three. Okay, three out of eight. Might, might as well use your uh, your ability, uh, your uh, your resources. Use your powers. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's start off with um, so Grizak. I've got Roger and Storm. You are going to do some scrying as your RP adventure, yes. as your RP no. encounter. Yeah, he's going to scry on Roger and Storm Priest. Okay. Uh, Arlen wanted to talk to Duncan, although Damien wanted to talk to Duncan, I think. So let's we, do that. We both do. We both do. Uh, are you going the, together, uh, or are you, uh, yeah. are, are you bringing anyone else? No. Uh, I'm going with Damien. No, I mean, these guys should be. Okay. So Damien's pushing, uh... Arlen. Give me a D3. Uh... Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, as Damien um, is pushing Arlen through the streets towards uh, Castle Vadaska, uh, you guys can see a bunch of gladiators drinking and and hollering and uh, and uh, having a good time. Those bastards! <laughs> now, let's see. You are. Passing the fox and grouse, and you notice that Ajax. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it Damien, Damien going to get mugged? Damien, if you can go invisible, I suggest you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are the indep- independence keys again? They, they're here. They're usually at the dented helm, right? Chanticleer and Wazrog. How squishy is Damien without his spells? Up. No, he's pretty Not squishy. as squishy as uh, <laughs> Arlen is. Yeah, Arlen did cut the barbarian's eyeballs. Osrog not die? No. No, he yeah, lived. They saved him. They rescued him. Yeah, he lived. Shouldn't he be in chains for being an asshole? Killing people when they were surrendered? <laughs> Uh, Damien, we could just go around, yes? 
Oh, Arlen. You don't walk around our lessons. They get out of our way. Right. Arlen's preparing a uh, dimension door. <laughs> Uh, where is um, the guy in chains? Is he lying on the field oh, somewhere? What's his name? Oh, uh, Kython. Kython. Kython? Kython. Trying to, trying to find it. his token. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay. Excuse me. Hmm. I'm going to go up for a piss. The 200 damage sucks. Yeah. <laughs> no. A Ajax stumbles into the street, and you can hear some laughing. And Waz like, <laughs> and then his head exploded. <laughs> Great conversationalist. <laughs> Ajax comes out, and he sees. Well, what do we have here? Oh, look! It's um. I knew this. Ajax. That's it, thank you. On the tip of my tongue. Oh, I was like, is his face palm like, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose congratulations are in order. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was hard luck for you. Next time. Rumor has it you're forming your own ludus. We are. Yeah. Good, good luck. <laughs> How what does Maeve feel about that? What do you mean? I mean, she's been trying to form her own nudist for years. Well, we're not the only ones. Oh, who else is forming? Don't know. There's a big shake-up. After you came and won, he's just sort of standing over you, he's staggering a little bit, he's kind of drunk. You can smell the liquor from here. So it sounds like we're in for some interesting times. Yeah. I think the uh, goblin are folding. Yes, yeah, so that happening, yes. Something about, um. <laughs> about the knights uh, joining with the house of the Broken Shield. Really? No, I could kind of see that happening, actually, yeah. Yeah, Lord Nori is now sworn fealty to, uh. To Lady oh, they're Daystra. Not, they're not even partners. Oh, that's sad. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Uh, he, lo get... he lost a gladiator. <laughs> yeah, they, they had a rough start, didn't they? That creature is quite formidable. And there's some slave master, some ponce from the capital city said he was inspired by your exploits. Ooh. I haven't heard of him. Some pompous, pompin, pompin' Jay. I don't know. Uh, wait, Fuck wait, him. Didn't, didn't Arlen meet him? <laughs> yeah, oh. he did. Um, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, I did meet him. I, I met him at fucking the Citadel. He's opening a Ludus. Well, with his slave connections in the capital, we should be concerned. Of course, we haven't, we haven't figured out a name for our new Ludus yet. Any ideas? I hear that you're the you're the one who has been writing all the interesting, uh, what do you call them, the speeches at the beginning? Oh, uh, yes, the, the introductions, yes. Yeah. I could come up with something if you'd like. For us? Sure, why not? Just to show there's no hard feelings. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a second. <laughs> he's, he's, he's drunk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't think that you and I are friends. Of <laughs> course not. Bitter enemies. Uh, I suggest I suggest we keep what's in the arena in the arena. There's no reason we can't be friends outside. Well, mm. we, we do stab. Diplomacy, ourselves. you drunk fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> hey, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Which Ludus do you belong to? The Conclave or the, the Circus? It's kind of up in the air right now. I have... I'm going to be doing some military things right now. Um, circus happens to be going up north where I'm going, so I'll be following them again. Ah, The fuck happened to Magnus? 
That's an excellent question. Uh, we don't know. We, we died. He was brought back very quickly. And he's disappeared after being arrested. Well, if it comes down to money, I got some money. Let me know if I can help free Magnus. <laughs> He'd fucking hate that if I paid his way out. <laughs> yes, you would. That's quite amusing. Yes, he would, actually. <laughs> I don't know uh, if it's money, though. It was a church that arrested him. I got no piss. Good luck with the pissing. He just goes over to the road and just <laughs> drops around, <laughs> just pissing in <laughs> <at> the road. <laughs> <laughs> and I run over and stab him when he's <laughs> <laughs> well, That would be the time. Yes, <laughs> congratulations, Commissioner. Yeah, I, I was surprised myself. Urgh. Does that mean you're going to be able to set up some good fights for us? Perhaps you overhear the conversation going on inside. Commissioner, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I talk to the new commissioner? Yep. I was talking to the real one. That when I wanted the real one, I think I got the real one. I still don't know who we were. Okay, this is pretty cool. Who the fuck are we commissioner, fuckers? Well, well, the champions! Comes over. For some reason, he's always got his chain around him. Greetings. Oh, sorry. Greetings. Did I overhear correctly? Am I speaking to the new commissioner, commissar of games? It'll be a made official in about a week. Who's the new commissioner? Kitan. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems congratulations on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to straighten this ship. The commissioner was taking all sorts of bribes for all sorts of things. As if that was a secret? <laughs> nope. We're going to go back to some... Just... We're going go to go back to some really old, hard, cool, uh, hardcore rules, is what he says. He's, he looks like he's been drinking, too. Good, good. Good to hear. Congratulations. I look Mystery to matches and blind matches. Fuck. <laughs> what he means by blind is not that you're like, oh, you, you're not sure. You don't, what you're, you're, you don't know what you're fighting. What you're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll, we'll straighten out the tiering system. We'll get everything assessed right. Good. Good. I'm glad this is going to be happening. Good Sound luck like, to you. Sound like you're a man with a plan. If you don't mind, he goes back to. Of course. Hey, this round's on us. All right, babe. Enjoy your evening, lads. How much are you spending? A uh, hundred gold. Okay, a significant amount of gold subtracted from your looter sheet. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I was wondering why I'd have bribe money on Ashoka. <laughs> <laughs> Drinks for new commission. <laughs> okay. Do the matter for the conclave, they almost never know what they're fighting. That's funny, Fox. <laughs> 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 That's so true. <laughs> Magnus, do you want to fight? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it right now. <laughs> Well, here are the rules. Fuck the rules. <laughs> All right, you go through. Uh, you go through Castle Gate, and eventually you are given admittance to the castle uh, using your lieutenant's uh, credentials. Let's see who is available. Was this during the day. Yep. They're just drunk at like two o'clock. <laughs> yeah, day drinking. <laughs> day drinking. When, when your only job is happens like once or twice every month, it's like yeah, there's a lot of day drinking going on. Uh, the Duke is busy. Thank fuck. Fucking, mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Uh, you can, you can speak to the Count and or Duncan, if you want. Uh, we will, mm -hmm. I would like to speak, speak to the Count myself. Sure. Um, I want to speak with Duncan. Okay. Um, you find the Count. He's actually on his way out when you find him. Ah, Damien. Suppose you'll be heading off soon. Uh, it seems that way, yes. Um, Arlen? Uh, greeting, Count uh, Sargon. 
Uh, we we never did we did we ever meet each other? I don't think we did. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think we ever got introduced. Uh, greetings, Count Sargon. Um, yeah, my name is Arlen. I hope you enjoy. No, you are. Videos. I saw the match. Yeah. Arlen Fightbringer. <laughs> Appreciate it. I appreciate that, uh, Damien. Uh, Damien taps him on the <laughs> shoulder. You'll get used to it. <laughs> Armageddon, Arlen Fightbringer. Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, he shakes, he shakes his hand, if you will. I don't know what, what, like what the commander is about, the count is like, but um, be cordial with him. Do you still have that box? I do. Keep it. That's how the Duke is expecting you to report back to him um, uh, on a regular basis as to what you find in the crypt. Very well. And, um, in, and, in, and anything else that has to do with our shadowy enemy. Understood. This is in front of Arlen? Yep. Um, Count, um, how is the Duke? Um, fine. Give me a sense motive. Okay. Uh, okay. No, 12. Okay, good to hear. <laughs> 30, 12. 33 for Damien. He's saying fine because it's none of Arlen's business. Okay. Um, Things are not okay. fine. He looks stressed. Okay. All right. Um, I'll let you to it then, um, Damien. I'll wait over. I'll wait over there and for for us to speak with uh, Duncan. Count stops for a moment. You notice he takes a look around to see who's there, and he kind of like, casts a glance up at like a couple of guards that are slowly walking along the parapets, and he leans into Damien for a moment after he is. After he looks around, be careful up there. I plan to be. Yes. Whatever this thing, this cradle was, is, our count is not quite the same. Perhaps it would be in everyone's best interest if the. Oh, sorry, our Duke. Age. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if the. Grand Mage examined everything before it's sent off for use. Hmm. Let us know if you need Duncan's skills. He can probably teleport you at least to Terra's lean. I, I, we have... Do we have teleport? Yes. Yeah, we do. Uh, we, we have those uh, abilities within this little mad bunch of brigands. <laughs> Alright, let me know if there's anything you need. Of course, sir. I just come to see if there's any further orders. The Duke is expecting you to leave as soon as you're able. Understood. Uh, just the family's in town. We have a few business things to finish up, tie up before we leave. Wandering around the wilderness, creeping into old tombs. It's not quite like the arena, huh? <sighs> not quite, but person, young man with a name like my own, with a successful war record, could go far in politics, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Politics? Yes, your name will carry you far. A position, a good title, and a good record will also carry you further. Indeed. Of course, we have to earn all that first, don't we? <laughs> yes. Let's hope that there's not a lot of undead in that tomb. Yes. Well, we have a priest my... with us, so... Reminds me of my first tour when I was a squire, fighting the undead hordes that were trying to invade Vyed. We should swap stories sometime when all this is over. Yes, I... I rather don't like things that don't die when you stab them in the heart. <laughs> Damn boners. <laughs> I'm rather fond of mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 
He appreciates the joke, but then he, he, he moves off. Carry on. He salutes. Arlen, you wheel up to the castle, and they don't let you in. He's, he's just waiting. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm waiting for Damien. Okay. Damien comes up. Okay. Uh, Chamberlain Brannock is leaving on some on some unknown... Why is Undwin there? I don't know. I was going to ask you. <laughs> Undwin is finished as spy! <laughs> Chamberlain oh, Brennick pauses yeah. for a moment. He looks at Arlen, kind of gives him an uh, like, like looks him up and down, and then just steps aside. Pardon me. Just, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, and Crixies is not. I don't know why all these old tokens are there? Okay, Damien, that guy's always like hustling. He's up to something. Yeah, he's... he's up to something, yes. I got you. Phoenix, isn't Phoenix dead? I just want to know, is is he yes. less, like, is, is he... Okay, he should be gone, yeah. Is he happy on his current hustle, or is he like, oh, fuck, what am I doing? <laughs> no, it looks like he's got some... He, he looks excited for his hustle. All right. Yeah, uh, he's used to people looking at him like. Eh, Ecthelion is talking to Duncan. Whatever, whatever happened with their conversation is over. By the time you arrive, Ecthelion goes by. He gives, he gives Damien a nod. Damien's uh, about to loop. And then uh, Duncan is there. Uh, ah, Arlen. Uh, greetings, Grey Wizard. <laughs> Days like these, I don't feel so great. What can I do you for? You ready to travel north? I just came to inform you of that. Um, I've been getting my gladiators retrained and preparing for our trip. Uh, we will be leaving uh, near the end of this week and uh, making our way to the destination on the map that you've provided to us. Um, how large the crypt is, we're unaware of. We'll have to go through, but we do expect to keep you updated as soon as daily and um, once we have the item we'll return as soon as possible uh, our information is not very complete on Duke Haramil's tomb but I do believe that there will be a false tomb as well as a true crypt beneath the false tomb ah uh -huh. there is also a um, you'll see a magical spike Where is it located? Is it a trap or a weapon? You know, this one is the same. It is what our research has um, has told us that it was placed there by the Imperium. Ha! Well, after it, after then. Duke Haramil was um, interred. Right. What does this should should what does the spike do? Should we how should we how do we avoid it? It is in, it is imperial property. Best not destroy it or damage it in any way if it still exists. Does it? Um, do we know what its effects are? I don't want it to surprise us during an attack or foil one of our magics. Duncan seems to be thinking about something like he's considering how to respond to your question if i'm not privy to some information if you are more comfortable giving it to the lieutenant that's fine by me i understand <laughs> tomato. There we go. <laughs> tomato. 
It's the best fucking tomato ever. <laughs> I gave this thing a name. Oh, I probably put it on a token and then in the map and then. Okay. Unless it's in here. Its name escapes me, but it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is a hedge staff. Knowledge arcana. Yes. That? Uh, I will. Also known as a also known as a planner spike. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna See? take twenty. So he talks about. I've heard this in this campaign game. before, so. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. Which gives me thirty. Uh, Damien, you know that there are things that are imperial magic. Yeah. Like the magical technology of the Imperium. Yeah. Um, kind of like the the Ark of the Undying Emperor. It's kind of maybe a little more common than the Arcs and a little less guarded secret. But hedge staves um, dimensionally lock areas within the radius around them. The larger the hedge staff, the larger, larger the radius. These things are crafted by wizards that are off-world somewhere. Like, like, like wizards don't craft them here on Tarak. Uh, these things are used to mm, keep important places free from Some dangers. Points. From no, from dangers beyond. So, do you want the head staff left there, perhaps? <laughs> yes, if there is, I would think twice before fiddling with old magic placed there by wise wizards from centuries ago. Agreed. We'll leave it where it is. Likely the ones that are placed here are larger than what one can move. All I know is that there was construction done and I was able to ascertain that a hedge staff was indeed installed there. It may not still be there, or it may be there. My curiosity is piqued. I did not... Um... I did not have time to look for it, and it may very well be disguised in the tomb's architecture itself. Right. Um, do you mean you know what kind of magic it uh, em that emanates from it? <clears throat> it's um, it will prevent teleportation, that sort of trap. It's usually to protect from things from beyond. Hmm. All right. An another fine example of imperial magic used to help the unworthy heathens of this world. Yep, they've got the teleportation obelisks or lodestones, they've got the hedge staves, and they've got things like the Ark of the Undying Emperor. Yep, real helpful, that Ark of the Undying Emperor. Really feel it safe <laughs> Hey, hey, you're not going to hell, are you? <laughs> you're going to a library. Different sort, oh, of, different sort of hell. <laughs> um, you open up the box it's just one big fat soul because it ate all the others <laughs> you have you have the box uh, says Duncan apparently like, there wasn't a chance for the count yes to... I, I have the box I will send reports frequently you notice that he's got concern on his face as he's nodding to that Ar Arlen will go away. I'm like, I'll wait for you outside, Damien. Thank you very much, Duncan. You have uh, the capability of casting Sending, yes? I don't know that. Is he so, talking to Arlen? He's, or to... Yeah, to Arlen. Yes, uh, I'm capable of doing Sending. I would appreciate, and his voice grows a little more quiet, 
if you keep me apprised of what you find. Of course. I'll be able to prepare, I'll prepare, I'll prepare some for you. He glances to Damien to see if there's a problem with that. No. Pa um. Perhaps you can help me word my reports. <laughs> ah. What? And he's definitely not saying something, but he's thinking of something that is making his face look grave. So about skull caps, aren't they all the, <laughs> just the most ding, popular? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. there's an awkward uh, silence. Thank, and <laughs> thank you again, Duncan. Uh, that, that great was it? Sweating. Is there like a suction on that? <laughs> <laughs> This was once the style in in the olden days, is what he says. <laughs> uh, so so were loincloths at one point, but... Ah! Oh. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> he, he wanders off. <laughs> I think it's beautiful! <laughs> I do too, I can see my reflection as you walk away. <laughs> you do you, man, you do you! <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you anything different. You're beautiful. Come now, Arlen. Let's go find a flight of stairs, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you were looking for, like, where the tomb is. So, uh, yes. Duncan, uh, Dun Duncan stops and says, um, You do know where you're going, do you not? I thought they gave yes. us a map. The, in our notes, we were looking for the location of the other tomb. The tomb of the, um, give me a sec. Boop. Crypt of the Iron Medusa. That's the second one we need to meet to find out where it is. Oh, I know where that is. Ah, then yes, we do. Uh, he Marlon pulls. He said, he said that quietly. I know where that is. Shut up. No, no, no. But the, uh, Duke uh, Duncan asked us, right? Yep. So Garland unfurls his map. Scroll strolls over like here. Like there's a big X. Oh, doesn't crypt. scroll anywhere. He strolls in his. He, he rolls. He unfurls the scroll. I think. I think there was a I'll bunch of. Unfurls the scroll. Right. <laughs> Too many rolls in there. He steerolls. Right here. <laughs> All right. I will open up the map. <laughs> to rack. Allow me to put a dot on the map. Little dot. Oh, that looks awkward. Mm. Right. Let's go to Sea Hard. Not that there's anything there. Just. Uh, and also you see on the map, he points out, um, we had struck out from, um, what is it called? The Citadel of Three Winds. What is that? Up north. <laughs> A monstrously large castle, probably crafted by giants. Okay. Um, and we went to the crypt of crypt of Haramil. Um. All right. Uh, then I need you to explain something to me. Um. Where was their fighting? Where are the front lines? If we're going to teleport. <laughs> it's. Pretty messy up there, says Duncan. There are barbarian tribes that are ranging on foot. You see, Arlen, barbarians don't fight like a traditional army. <laughs> hmm. They move around in small bands frequently until they form a horde and must be wiped out by cannon fire and musket. 
Our soldiers are, are mostly entrenched in the shield mounts. There are many passes in places where um, a horde from the north could not come through. There was sporadic fighting to the south of the shield mounts, and the Citadel of Three Winds is our, is our northernmost location. Is there anything that we can bring with us beyond beyond our prize of the season end games that would allow us non harassment? Don't worry, you've got me. Okay. Is there anything that we can bring that would allow us non harassment? <laughs> <laughs> he says you've got a lieutenant. Alright, please, Damien. You have the document Stop. signed by the Duke. Sarcasm our way to be a crypt. <laughs> it's got me this far through life. <laughs> I appreciate it. We know where we're going, and we'll make haste. We can teleport to the um, city by the citadel by the lake, and um, we'll use our magics to get us the rest of the way. There is um like water would be the fastest it is curious uh, the citadel of three winds also has a hedge staff a hedge staff does not allow teleportation looks like a um, dimensional it's deep within the citadel. It is. There are some caverns and tunnels beneath the citadel where a veritable army could march around in. Knowledge history. I'm going to have to roll this because I doubt Tony's going to cover it. Uh, why might they have built an entire citadel on top of something? <laughs> uh, no. I will roll. Uh, 15. Uh, Citadel of Three Winds uh, was probably built by giants long ago, and there have been various occupation occupations of the Citadel. Um, during the time of Duke Caramel, he probably had that place, for example. Uh, during, the, during the time of the, of the other family that tried to become kings, they probably had their army there. Um... Elves of Terra's Lean probably occupied it at one point. Like it's it's just a but, huge but it it's a huge Imperium. fortress. But it was the Imperium that put the uh, spike there. Yes, Imper uh, the planner spikes are Imperium technology. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's sometime in the last three hundred years, um, the spike it, was but, placed there, and it, it was long enough that Duncan doesn't know why. Yeah, like like his information is, it seems to be spotty. Well, perhaps we should consult an expert if we have any if you have any more questions. Um, I'm good friends with the uh, Grand Major Vadapol, and of course that Zeta woman seems to know quite a bit of things. If and you're uh, if you're going to be going around north, know that the the crypt of Duke Caramel is within Tebronia. The city of Tebron is. There are some strange reports out of that protectorate. We do suspect that the city has become or fallen under the influence of, of our enemy. The shadow creatures. He nods. Noted. What did they, how did they behave in, during the sunlight? During the day, how did they behave? They did not like the bright light, if you're speaking of the, the shadow kin, the, um, what you call them... What are they called? Uh, not Adam, Adam, why are you so shocked? Because <laughs> I, I gave a nickname to something. I'm wondering if that's the thing. Let me, let me look at the races. Yeah, you're, you're like, I can't believe I said... I, I, what's, what? <laughs> you had that weird look on your face like, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> they are called... Uh, advanced races? No. Fetchlings. Oh my god. What are the regular... What are the regular abilities? I, I apologize, I just... 
uh, you would be the best one to help us with this. And I assume we're going to run into them. Fetchlings are able to blend into shadows. They fear not cold and are able to wander around in the wildernesses of the north even during winter. They're immune to the cold. How does the fire, how do they behave? I wouldn't say immune, but... How do they fare with fire? Are they more damaged? He says no. Acid, electricity. If it was just barbarians, we know how to deal with barbarians. But these fetchlings... If the fetchlings have infested Tebran, then Tebran's stony streets are not a safe place to wander around. Do they infect regular folk and turn into fetchlings? Do they move around like barbarians in groups, small groups? Are they organized? Would we expect to be attacked by 30 or 40 or a mere 5 or 10? There are some planes that are in existence and overlapping each other. The shadow plane is one that overlaps with the prime material. Do you follow what I'm saying to you? Uh, Arlen is doing his knowledge planes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thirteen. Well, yeah, you can follow the the lesson, but... Yes. <laughs> the shadow plane yeah. is supposed to be a strange mirror realm. Sometimes cities are reflected in their entirety on the other plane. Sometimes they simply overlap, and other times they are distinct. There may be entire peoples that live in the shadow plane. We believe that there might be an entire city of fetchlings out there. Then then the, some fetchlings would be more chaotic and some would be more lawful. It's an entire plane we speak of. All right. Uh, I apologize for the questions. Just I do not wish to, to, con to make conjecture as to their origin, but there are some believe that the fetchlings were once human long ago. And something infected them. Or perhaps living upon the Shadow Plane changed them. Still, they are an enemy of the Imperium. Um, Duncan? How is the Duke? He, he looks at you. He gives you this look like things are not good. Go into the go to the north as you're commanded. We'll make haste. And Bex it's like, come on, Damien. We've worn a welcome here. <laughs> hey, we do not wear your Getting welcome. stern <laughs> stern tones here. I don't like it. Feeling vulnerable. Alright then, we'll take our leave. Thank you very much for your time, Duncan. Best travels. May the old gods and the new watch over you. Indeed. Thank you. Ooh, this guy said old and new. He wasn't like, if I was God. <laughs> They're not all psychos. Cool. Just some. You hear that, Damien? He's not an ass like you. <laughs> <laughs> he has no fun either. Um, yeah. Sorry, Adam, I did want to take Sam, but, like, why'd you bring him? <laughs> I like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. He's like, get the fuck out of <laughs> <laughs> like, shadow boxing? You know, shadow boxing. Look at my fist. <laughs> I'm meddling everything. <laughs> Make potatoes. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to Vatapol. Force you guys to the it's good because I'm likely missing the session where you're going up there so if you get lost it's not my fault <laughs> alright Damien yeah, and the others thing. they they talked to the to the duke uh, you found out about you didn't find out about the other crypt but you did find the uh, uh, the count 
Uh, who else do we need to do? Uh, it looks like RP, Church, Damien, and then Grizak, Roger, and and uh, the Storm, and then RP, Sell Sword to Conclave. Ireland's not going to bother with that. The uh, Magnus isn't there. They're not going to probably. They're not going to be as interested in buying it. And, okay. And if you, you might be able to sell it to the Independents, though. Yeah, Ajax would probably buy it. You'll see if you'll see if they can. Uh, what what it, sword are we selling? It's a plus three great sword that enhances uh, rage. Ajax would fucking jump slap on his mama for that. <laughs> slap his mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you find Ajax drunk again. Um, well, like you just leave, and they're still drinking at the. Uh... No, I'll catch him when he's not drunk. Good luck. No, no. Do you now want is the time to make the deal. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how much it costs, Damien. Um, well, you really should have had it assessed first. Well, I wasn't on my way to do that. How was I? Uh, Fifteen. Uh, uh, um, the label. Phrase? The label on the the sword said um, a powerful uh, blade that enhances rage. Effectively, it's a plus three sword with a, an additional power. With a 15? Yeah, you may not have quite understood. I, uh, I need to get somebody to tell me how much it costs. And I go sell it to that person. To that person. One second. Um, magic weapons. Should be... Nine... Like, 18,000? Something like that? 18,300. Plus something. Plus something, yeah. Yeah, you're guessing it's probably between ten and twenty grand. You're, you're you're thinking twenty grand. Arlen didn't want to go and talk to him while he's drunk. Damien's like, "Well, hold on a second. This is the time. Uh, are you guys going in or not?" Um, As your advisor, I strongly suggest you do it now. <laughs> We are, we are, after all, on a mission that is going to um, affect every living being here in Drac. Uh, hey, Arlen will go in. Okay. Ah, a boy. <laughs> you help wheel him up the stairs. Yep. It's really awkward. Remind me to bring Measley next time you're heavy. Ha <laughs> ha, they've returned, says Ajax. Hmm. Uh, Ajax, how are you doing? Good. Excellent. Um, I was interested. I was wondering if you're interested in buying a blade. It was one of the treasures we obtained. This blade is quite powerful, and enhances one's um, anger during combat. Let's see it. Oh. Sheen! <laughs> Do you have it on you? No! <laughs> okay. I don't have it on me. <laughs> How much do you want for it? I heard there were some magical treasures in the, uh... In the tower. Yes, um... The blade is, from what I understand, worth 20 talents. Um... But seeing as how we want our Ludai to be friends with your Ludai... Let's make it a cool 15. But of course, you wish you're more than welcome to come and try it. That is most generous, says Chanticleer. Why would you be generous to us? Well, just take it from them, uh, Ajax. That's not how we do things. No. No, it's not. We're not like the Conclave. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Magnus uh, got his, his face pushed in. <laughs> Indeed he did. Indeed he did. Um, we you know why he's book. called Ugg? Because he's ugly. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. But we'd like to have a positive relationship between our two Ludai. Done. So, uh, if this seals the deal... It makes us friends. Ajax will buy a 15 grand sword without looking at it. 
He's feeling good. I meant 25. <laughs> no, 15 sounds good. Okay, he yeah. shakes your hand. How come with all the red carpets going out to the independents? Now you want to make friends there, buddy, buddy. <laughs> now you think he needs friends there, buddy, buddy. Well, yeah, uh, like, it's not like creepy well, guys. Like, why don't you step in here? Yes, drink some tea. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> after we, oh, after we get the <laughs> coin, where do you want us to send the sword? They're sending notes. Oh. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I'll bring by the money tomorrow. I'll pick up a sword. Maybe the day after. Sure. All right. We will be leaving. We will be leaving. Uh, I mean, uh, anytime. Yeah, come on by. I enjoy your day, drunk assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you go out of your way to avoid the conclave of Crimson Scale. <laughs> All right, it, it looks like it looks like. Marty, should I do the loot and fifteen talents added? Yeah, thirty-two yeah. percent. Okay, uh, there's no uh, random event. Uh, Damien, you wanted to go see the church? Uh, I should, yeah. Okay. You bringing anyone with you to church? Oh, you mean all my heathen friends? No, thanks. <laughs> Where's the sword? Circus of Dread. Okay. Oh, there it is. Have you ever been to the Towers of Faith here? In... I haven't yet, no. Hey, you, you can see... Hey, I'll be there on Sunday, is what he said. <laughs> I said I'll be there for like half a year. Yep. Are you just going into church? Yep. All right. So there's, some, there's some guards outside, and um, uh, you can see that there are um, some faithful inside that are milling around. Um, there doesn't seem to be an active sermon or anything going on, but there are people praying inside in inside small shrine areas. You enter into a courtyard. There's uh, the bustle, hustle and bustle of a, a busy place. Priests and is soldiers it, coming to and fro. Is there anyone like praying for money for medicine or something? Uh, there are people. Um, the steps that lead up to the Towers of Faith do have a lot of beggars. No. I want someone in the church. Okay, so you're listening in on people's prayers. Uh, yeah. you know, there's an old woman who's, who's praying that... Um, um, praying for her own health. Okay. Um, there's a, uh, a young couple that is praying for a, uh, a pregnancy. What's that to their uh, and then you see a, a young priest that is that is that is praying, and um, you can't really tell what he's praying about. He's he's mumbling, but he sits behind him in a pew, cross-legged, his arms like over the sides. Like... <laughs> oh, is there something I can help you with? Very oh, mi yes. very mild-mannered man. Lovely church. You really should have come sooner. Ah, yes. The Towers of Faith were reconstructed from the battlements of this city long ago. Many new features will have, have been added here. Yes, like the stained glass. Quite lovely. <laughs> stained glass was imported from Cantaport. Cantaport is a very well no is very well known for their glass blowers. Yes, and the doppelgangers. No! <laughs> he looks horrified. <laughs> Please, there's no need to um, frighten people here. We have inquisitors that are keeping the city safe. Yes, well, and of course, faith will keep you safe as well. Of course. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, I would like to speak to someone about my friend Magnus. This, this priest doesn't seem to... Magnus? Um... Oh, he'd be down, down. Oh. 
I'm sorry, I not to show what you'll mean. I'm going to have to fetch a different priest. Give me a diplomacy check as you kind of go through this hierarchy of like who knows who and what's allowed to be said. Some religious red tape. Yep. 30. Okay, eventually you thought you were going to meet a priest, but an inquisitor comes and kind of st strides right up to you. Come with us. Uh, he's got a, He's got four guards in black breastplate they are wearing masks and they've got muskets okay he strides along with a smile on his face okay he they bring you to this is a strange room the guards didn't come into the room but the guards you can see are moving around and they're behind murder holes <laughs> in the room and a heavy door closes <laughs> there's no furniture in this room there's a light slant in the middle, and there's a drain. There's a bat in the corner. <laughs> I hear you're asking about one of our prisoners. Yes. The the, the Inquisitor is in this room with you. He does not seem yeah. to be afraid, but it's like, oh, fuck. You, like, you'd have to stab through these little holes where the guards would stick their guns in. And... I learned to spell. Why are you asking about one of our prisoners? Well, because he's not guilty of anything, and I realize it's not a typical court of law here, but I am his attorney. His attorney? Yes, uh, an advocate, barrister, whatever you choose. Ah, I see. The charges have not been levied against him yet. He is being held for questioning. Well, it's been a week. I know his vocabulary. It's not that extensive. He must be done by now. Are you on... Are you on retainer? Is he paying you? Well, he's a uh, member of the... Conclave of Crimson Sands, my uncle's ludus. And you are? Lieutenant Damien Van Imp. Lieutenant? Interesting. Van Imp, even more so. My suggestion is that you find another client. I'm sure there are many others out there that are in need of representation. With a hint of derision. Not a big fan of lawyers, are you? Those that would twist the word. Are most unwelcome. Yes, some might say the same about certain members of certain churches. Hmm. Is there anything else I could help you with here today? Oh. I was just hoping to see him. See what charges are being laid against him. As far as I can tell, and anyone else could tell in that arena, he's more of a victim than a criminal. Ah. There we go, the twisting of words. Officially, he is now a ward of the Imperial Church. That is all you need to know, Arbiter Damien Lieutenant Van Imp. And you are? Inquisitor Lucius. And Inquisitor Lucius? When and if there is a trial, or an arraignment, or even a pronunciation of his guilt you will be fetched no one fetches me I just show up where shall we send the messenger to let you know of such a event I'm afraid I'm a rather busy man you'll have to use the sending you are capable He 
doesn't look amused. If there is no address, then how are we to get a hold of you? For the sending. If you don't know it, fine. Talk to the um, Grand Mage of Vadipole. He will use the sending and send it to you. So you wish messenger sent to the Grand Mage of Vadipole? That is correct. He looks annoyed at the fact that the Grand Mage is in, involved. He's also a friend of Magnus. Curious. We'll have to look into that. Tell me. What did you see upon the field? Did you see anything strange? when you were fighting for your life in the in the summer end match nothing in particular why what did you make of the strange black cloud that came out of the sky inexplicably on a day where we asked the five-faced god for clear weather well, one would just assume that as he frequently does, the five-faced god decided against your prayers. Hmm. He has it. He works in mysterious ways, you know. He he grimaces, using a common saying. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no knowledge of what this cloud was or is. I was on another team, so... I see. Your family does not have residence here. Where is your residence, should we wish to question you further on this matter, or other matters? You can mark me down as undecided. He doesn't like that answer? I see. That is all you may go. Oh, may I? Uh, you hear the door being opened. Guard opening the door. Oh, out of curiosity, did you get a chance to send anyone to, like, Lakeport. Lakeport? What matter is that? Let me see. Oh, I, I might have the wrong name. That's the, the town with the, the lake and the... The waterfall? Citadel by the lake? No, no, uh, no. no. The, um, yeah, Lakeport, the one... Lakeport Town. Lakeport Town, yeah. He, this, this Inquisitor doesn't know what you're talking about. Very well. I'll take that as a note. Do you feel his gaze watching you as you're leaving? Okay, it was like you were climbing the hierarchy and then somebody heard that you were sniffing around and, and came and directly... You, you feel like you were interrogated a bit. I was literally put in an interrogation room, yeah. <laughs> What a wonderful church. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we slipped Magnus or Shiv? <laughs> he just raged his way out of the place. Damien's oh. sticking around, or is he... Uh... Oh, Lucius, um, would you mind telling the Archbishop that I did show up to church? I did make him a promise. He blinks. The Archbishop... This is where you nod and say yes, as you wish. <laughs> Your presence here will be known to him by end of day. Thank you. You're so helpful. I don't know what everyone's talking about when they say your name. 
<laughs> his eye twitches in annoyance. <laughs> and his hand flicks like he wants to cast a spell, but he decides not to. <laughs> Damon is in for someday a very bad time in the basement of this building. <laughs> right next to Magnus. <laughs> As you're about to leave, a guy comes cut, turning around the corner. Ah, oh, excuse me. There's something creepy about this guy. There's something not quite right. Um... He just pa he just paused as as you were leaving and and like you know. Sorry, I'm on the wrong. Oh, hang on, here we go. Whoa, uh, Goodman with the eyes. Stay, um. Yes, good day, sir. <laughs> yes. It is a good day. Another unmarried. Here we go. <laughs> A common misconception. We are allowed to marry. Oh, no, it wasn't about you being allowed to marry. Just, you're unmarried, aren't you? No. I have a wife and three beautiful children. No shit. Please. <laughs> Do not speak profane words in this holy house, oh, or no. upon its step. My apologies. It seems I have to reassess my judgments of others. If it were up to me, you would be lashed for that. Publicly. Well, fortunately, the church seems to have a less violent head at it right now. Yes. Yes, it is quite forgiving of many crimes against the gods in this heathen city. Perhaps the mother for you. Do you have a wife and children? Not barely a man. No, not yet. You are old enough to marry. Why do you not marry? Well, it's an interesting question. My marriage is going to be arranged, it seems. Ah, yes. The duties of family, both great and small. Indeed. Well, I wish you a fruitful union when your family decides to marry you. Why, thank you very much. Um, he... Out, puts out his hand like a shake. <laughs> Caleb Goodman, good to meet you. Damien Van Imp, likewise. His hand is cold, clammy, and iron strong. Okay, knowledge, nature, what the fuck are you? Are you even human? <laughs> He's got chillin'. You didn't ask how old they were. <laughs> sure, give me a knowledge. Oh, should I just... Uh, knowledge rules. And a roll. Fuck, 19. Okay, he's... Not humanoid. Fuck. Knowledge something else? What is he? <laughs> Planes? I'll take 20. Giving you? 20. Oh, sorry, I'll take... Um, I already took 20 today. I'll take 10, which gives me 20. Okay. I'm going to send you a message. Mark. Where is a mark? Half clockwork golem. <laughs> Inevitable. <laughs> Huh. Uh, Damien's just kind of got raises an eyebrow, like... Interesting. What is... Young Sir? Oh, bloodlines and family, like we were saying. Yes. It is important. 
to raise a good family in a good environment. Yes. Good day, sir. Praise be to he of five. Praise be. And he's gonna scurry away from this creepy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you feel him watching you go. As he pauses. Up until this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he grins slightly, a hand nonchalantly goes into the folds of his robes as he touches prayer beads that he keeps out of view. My, um, this guy reminds me of the, uh, what's his name? Priest? The guy with the guns. Oh, uh, the Reverend. The oh. Reverend. Ah, <sighs> sounds like this this turn is now done. Yep. Let's go back to the conclave. You guys. <laughs> who? who? Who got fucked? Hmm? No, he said, fuck you guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck, fuck the five-faced god. <laughs> and all his cronies. Oh, there's lots going on. Nova Skullcrusher, Vigo, and Quailzy are all idle. The wizardling is being entertained. Give me five rolls. Yeah. Go for Adam. Getting bad clouds. Uh, one success. Okay, his morale is improved. Dance, Bucky, dance. <laughs> no, other people are dancing for him, man. <laughs> dance him. This is his voice. You dance, can Bucky. dance if you want to. Uh, Scarab is receiving or is doing training. Okay. So is my camera frozen with me apparently like going? Can turn my headphones up. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> turn my headphones up. I yes. just thought you were stuck in a perpetual Hulk Hogan. Voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I want to quickly reconnect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just decline. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just decline. Oh, there's, there's too up. many marks now. Too many you marks. Gone, we decided you're out. <laughs> oh. Well, that's, a, that's so mean. Blame you. That's so mean. Who's <laughs> you? I bubble you. Zargon is uh, idle this this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Zargon wants to speak to Ashoka. Oh, no, Zed. Okay. Zed. Okay. So RP, he wants to speak to Zid. <clears throat> That's dead, baby. Uh, yes, Foxfire. Gracchus is already training people. We leveled him last time, and now yep. he's using. We're using his dice to train people this week. So you you you're giving Sona twenty four training dice. <laughs> yeah, you want to level him up. Go, give me twenty four d six. Lots of success. Great success. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen okay. successes. Uh, Sona is now um, trained. Next level, he trains people. <coughs> uh, Fleas is being has got medical attention. Yep. So roll nine. You're looking for one success. This is not very difficult. He's good. He's good. All right. Uh, very good. What is Six doing during this turn? Well, since we now know that Arlen is a slave, let's learn more about Arlen and his background. Okay. Uh, specifically? Uh, how did he become a slave? What is his contract worth? What, how would one acquire said contract? And has he done anything that violates the what is allowed of slaves? Okay. These sorts of questions. Uh, these, these sorts of questions and more. Let me look at the security of the other Ludus. It's not like we keep notes like, yeah, after we killed all the masters, we made our own Ludus up. 
and we give it to Radimer. 